it's, it's a rock. <laughs> I can't get over it. What's, <laughs> what's so good about it? It's a rock. <laughs> it's not just about, originally it was sort of just about the rock and that it's been here forever. When they bought that property, that rock was there. There was a camp down similar to the one here towards the water. Never a complaint about this rock. They had that nice home built and the person built it right next to the rock and told them it would be moved, they said. When the rock didn't get moved, this all started. And it's just been, we thought it was all settled. The town had a vote, the vote was no. The bottom line is that a rule that was trying to be enforced that was not literally the state statute or the state law. And in delving into it ourselves and then our lawyer delving into it, it was found to be that Everyone on this road owns to the middle of the road. That's the state statute. So based on that evidence, the town, the selectmen, and neighbors were trying to enforce a rule that wasn't even looked into to find what actually is the correct ruling. They, they were trying to enforce a, a law that wasn't actually in effect. I get back over it. And I, till I get it squared out, <laughs> I ain't going to do anything till I know what's okay, what. <laughs> I walked down here this morning um, and saw this machinery unloaded here. And then I um, started talking with the neighbors here. And then everyone started calling people asking when was permission granted to do any of this because the meeting is not until tonight. And the operator was already getting on the equipment and starting to chip away the rock. And as far as we understood, nobody had granted permission. We found out after there were no permits given, nothing has been done yet. And um, the operator said he couldn't work like that. He was done and he just came and got his equipment and left. And uh, LaForest say they own the rock. They have evidence of that, but they haven't provided it even though they've been asked I guess a few times for it, they didn't provide it. So there's a meeting at six, and we're going to find out on, so. where everything stands. Till till somebody <laughs> can show me something, that that's all I can say. I just don't deal with that kind of stuff. Let's, let's get back to the root of it. So why to, are you um, want to remove the rock? Safety hazard for us entering and leaving our driveway to put in a driveway a straight driveway, and three safety on the road because of the logging trucks going by, the plow plowing in the winter, it's hard because the road is much narrower there. So for everyone concerned who uses the roadway, the roadway would be much safer, and we would be thereby be doing the town a favor in removing the rock. And we would be following the state law, which says that we own the, lock, the rock. It's on our property, and we have the right legally to remove it. She's screaming really loud, the two of them, the rock is evil, it's evil. I don't know what that means. We've been here with us our whole lives, we never thought it was evil. I know it is, it's, it's, it's kind of funny. <laughs> People love their rocks, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I guess somebody 